Hey everyone, it's the Awesome Dan here, and welcome to Deus Ex Mankind Divided. This is gonna be a full walkthrough of the entire game, plus a review at the end of it. So, this is actually, this is not my first Deus Ex game I ever played. I actually played the one that came before this called, um, Human Revolution, which was a very fantastic game. I highly recommend you playing it before you play Mankind Divided, so you can get the whole feel of the story. Uh, Mankind Divided takes place, I think, a few years after Human Revolution, so Human Revolution already happened, your choice has already been made, this has happened, I think, two, I think two years after Mankind, you know, Human Revolution, I'm not sure, but I know it's happened after it. Jensen is still, you know, augmentation. This, um, I think Mankind Divided focuses more on how augments, um, of how, like, they're basically treating augments like crap now. They're basically segregating them, moving them away from normal people. They're basically treating them like total crap right now. And a giant terrorist organization is foreign because of this and starts wreaking all this havoc. And Adam Jensen has to do all he can to prevent it and basically uncover a giant conspiracy, aka the Illuminati. Yes, the Illuminati is in this. Deus Ex has to do a lot but the Illuminati. So, this is gonna be the first Deus Ex game I ever play on my channel. So, don't forget to give that like button some love. I'm planning on beating 100 likes for this one part. And don't forget to click the subscribe button as well, because I'm you definitely don't want to miss out on Deus Ex. So, without any further ado, let's get to Deus Ex Mankind Divide, everybody. The story. New game. Uh... I'd say... Uh, I never asked for this! I really want to play on this mode to see how many times I can fuck up. But I'm gonna go with normal mode. Wait, what? What was somebody saying? This is how the game is meant to be played? Oh, definitely that. Let's see, enjoy a game of story. Hmm. As designed to be played. Human Revolution. Revolution were perfect. Why mess up a good thing? Hmm. I don't know, though. Uh. I guess I gotta say. Mankind Divided, then. Do it like some standalone experience, almost for relief events. You can also relive the event which took. Place two, yeah, see, two years. I told you two years. Watch the tournament recap. Um, well, I already know what happened, so I'm gonna let you guys watch the recap video. 2027. Advances in biotechnology were helping people improve their physical and mental abilities to an amazing degree. Provided, of course, they had enough money. A new breed of people was emerging half human, half machine. And in Detroit, at least, not everyone was happy to see it. I just landed a job as head of security at Seraph Industries, a cutting-edge biotech firm. David Seraph himself handpicked me for the job, said he needed me to keep his people safe. My ex, Megan Reed, was one of them. A brilliant neuroscientist, Megan had found a way to make augmentation safe and affordable for everyone. All she had to do was present her research to Congress. But the night before her big meeting, my security measures failed. A team of Black Ops mercenaries stormed into Seraph headquarters, massacring everyone in sight. Three of the mercs were heavily augmented walking tanks. Their mission? Take out Megan and her team. I tried to stop them, but their leader tossed me through a plate glass wall. Last thing I heard as his bullets slammed into my brain was Megan's dying scream. I should have died with her. Only I didn't. High-end, military-grade enhancements saved my life. The best augmentation Seraph's money could buy. It took me half a year to get a feel for it. Should have taken longer. But six months into my recovery, Seraph Industries was attacked again. This time, by a radical group of pro-human purists. Violent, militant, and fanatically opposed to human augmentation, they claimed to be members of Humanity Front a non-profit organization that wanted the UN to limit biotechnology research. The thugs broke into Seraph's factory and found machinists working overtime on a top-secret military augment called the Typhoon. Seraph sent me to retrieve it. And when I did, I found one of the so-called purists next to it, wired with cerebral implants, trying to download its classified specs. Obviously, something more was going on. Yogg killed himself before I could question him. Seraph ordered me to dig deeper, 
So with the help of Frank Pritchard, Saraf's head of cybersecurity, I did. Turns out a second hacker had been controlling the AUG's actions from somewhere off-site. Pritchard and I tracked his signal to a secret FEMA internment camp in Detroit. The Black Op mercenaries were there. The same mercs who'd left me for dead six months before. Figured they'd try again when they saw me. It wasn't so easy for them this time. I took out the tank named Barrett. Even got him to give me a new lead. A penthouse apartment in China. Of course, we both knew it would be a trap in the end. Hengsha Island, China. Home to a city so crowded, they had to build a second city on top of it. Trying to find clues in Hengsha wouldn't be easy. Lucky for me, I wasn't alone. Farida Malik, Seraph Industries' ace pilot, had lived in Hengsha before. A good person to have on your side. She knew enough about the place to get me around. Malik dropped me in the lower city, close to the penthouse Barrett had told me about. Bell Tower Associates, a private security firm under contract to the Chinese government, had agents tossing the suite when I arrived. Just not for the reason I'd been expecting. Turns out the man who lived there was a criminal hacker named Van Bruggen. The same hacker who'd been remotely controlling the AUG in Sarah's factory. Van Bruggen's panicked decision to force the man to commit suicide had been a mistake. Now his mercenary partners were gunning for him, and I needed to find him before they did. Locating Van Bruggen meant playing nice with the Triads, anxious organized crime lords. They had the hacker holed up inside a low-rent capsule hotel. By the time I found him, Van Bruggen had no qualms giving up the woman who hired him. Zhao Yun Ru, president of the Taiyang Medical Corporation. According to Van Bruggen, Zhao wanted to monopolize the augmentation industry and had hired black op mercenaries to destabilize her competition. Seraph Industries was at the top of her list. To prove this, I needed to get inside TYM and grab a surveillance hologram off a server. I suspected Van Bruggen was hiding something when he told me this, but nothing could have prepared me for what I saw. Megan wasn't dead. She and her four best researchers had been kidnapped, spirited away somewhere while their kidnappers made it look like they were dead. Desperate to learn more, I confronted Zhao in her penthouse. She claimed to be a pawn in a bigger plan, and hinted at a group so powerful it controlled global interests at a whim. Then she slipped into a panic room and hit the alarm, forcing me to make a very quick exit. I figured Zhao was lying, but part of her confession made sense. David Seraph had been worried about his people. So worried, he'd required all of them to have subdermal locator devices surgically implanted. The GPLs would have been broadcasting the day of the attack. But Zhao said a single call to Picus, the world's leader in global 24-hour satellite news, had turned those signals off. I needed to fly to Picus headquarters in Montreal if I wanted to learn. Eliza Kassan, Picus Communications' first lady of news. Malik thought I was reaching when I told her Eliza was involved in this. The world's most famous news anchor, working with a mercenary hit squad. But when I confronted Kassan in her office, she freely admitted to jamming Detroit satellites the night Megan's team had been taken. Said she's just been following her commands. I suspected she wanted to say more. But Black Op mercenaries showed up, looking to shut us both down. And just like that, the Eliza I'd been talking to disappeared. The mercs were led by an augmented killer I'd crossed paths with twice before. Fedorova. A woman who'd made silence her best friend. She waited for me to track Eliza's transmission to a secret server room underneath the Picus complex, then jumped me from behind. A deadly fight ensued. I made sure she never moved silently again. With Fedorova down, and no one left to keep Eliza quiet, she reappeared. Turns out Picus's first lady of news wasn't a lady at all. She was a sophisticated AI program, 
engineered to monitor data streams and control what people believed. Liza told me the Mercs had brought in a humanity front doctor named Isaiah Sandoval to remove the scientists' implanted tracking devices while Detroit's satellites were down. She also told me to speak to David Seraph if I wanted to learn more. By the time Malik and I got back to Detroit, tensions between normal and augmented citizens had reached a flashpoint. Riots were breaking out in several cities. The UN was being urged to intervene. Seraph was trying hard to convince Hugh Darrow the inventor turned philanthropist who'd once been a leading proponent of enhancement technologies to help stop a possible regulatory vote. Sarif had a lot riding on Daryl. Megan's discovery would have given millions of people the chance to evolve beyond their normal human abilities, and at the same time, catapulted Sarif Industries to the top of the Fortune 500. According to Sarif, Megan's kidnappers knew this, and didn't want people evolving unless they controlled how it was done. He called his enemies Illuminati, and urged me to keep searching. Determined to do so, I tracked down Sandoval via America's most outspoken augmentation opponent, Bill Taggart, Sandoval's boss and founder of Humanity Front. Sandoval admitted to operating on Megan's team when I confronted him, but said he hadn't removed their GPLs. He'd merely switched them to a different frequency. Pritchard was able to trace one of the signals to China, Malik and I immediately took off in pursuit. Unfortunately, the Illuminati were one step ahead. Ambushed. Shot out of the sky by Bell Tower Associates, seconds after entering Hengsha's airspace. Malik's piloting skills saved me. After a tense and bitter struggle, I escaped into Lower Hengsha. The tracking signal I was following led straight to the triads, or more specifically, to the augmented arm of Tong Si Hung, leader of a gang of augmentation harvesters. Tong said they'd taken the arm off a corpse which Bell Tower had left at their door, meaning at least one of Seraph's scientists was dead. Maybe not the rest of them, though. Tong pointed me to a port used for human trafficking and helped me slip aboard a Bell Tower ship. We were sailing to Rifleman Bank Station, a military base in the South China Sea. Bell Tower was holding kidnapped civilians as prisoners there, and using them to perfect the Hyron Project, a human-computer interface that left most of its test subjects dead. My search for Megan would have ended then, if not for a mysterious ally named Quinn. In exchange for my help exposing Bell Tower, he slipped me aboard a second ship headed to Singapore and an Illuminati-run biotech facility called Omega Ranch. Three of Seraph's scientists were there, forced by their captors to create a technology capable of remotely shutting down augmented abilities. Thanks to an emergency recall notice issued by the World Health Organization, millions of people all over the world already had the biochip installed. With the help of the scientists, I tracked Megan to a private section of the ranch. There, I ran into Yaron Namir, the walking tank who'd put a bullet in my brain the first time we met. He'd teamed up with Zhao and was hoping to catch me off guard. But the little ambush didn't work. I found Megan in a suite belonging to Hugh Darrow, the billionaire philanthropist who Seraph had called on for help. Darrow had convinced her to go along with the biochip plan by promising to sabotage the tech. As she was explaining this, Darrow appeared in a global broadcast, telling the world that augmentations would be the death of mankind. Then he activated the biochips to prove his point. All over the world, augmented people flew into a killing frenzy. Darrow had betrayed everyone, and it was up to me to set things right. To do it, I had to reach Panchea, a massive installation in the Arctic Ocean. As I raced through corridors built by an all-augmented workforce, I saw death and destruction firsthand. By the time I shut down Darrow's broadcast, I knew the damage he'd done. Still, humanity's future remained unclear. How would the world react to this sabotage? Would people ever regain their faith in augmentations again? What would be the Illuminati's next move? Only time 
Give us the answers. Now, Hansa, are you? Well, if I do, McCready, I guarantee you'll never see it coming. Agent Jensen, am I gonna have a problem with you? No, sir. No reason to assume you would. Good, because you are the only augmented operative on this team, and I intend to make good use of you. Listen up, all of you. We've got a sandstorm barreling down our ass, and we can't afford to make mistakes. We're going after this man, an arms dealer named Shepard. He's ex-Bell Tower, one of the Special Forces commanders who disappeared during the incident. And he's come out of hiding. That cannot be good. It's not. He's selling weapons and military-grade augments to terrorists. This is Aran Singh, the undercover agent who lured Shepard out of his hole. Best you see Interpol's got. For three years, he's worked hard to get in tight with the Jin an Iraqi smuggling cartel that's infected the Eastern Hemisphere like a plague. Last week, our arms dealer sent a message to the Jin, offering to sell them a shitload of black market merchandise dirt cheap. They told Singh to handle a buy. They're not gonna like it when Interpol disrupts that party. Singh's cover really that good? It is right now. We need to keep it that way. This is where the deal's going down. A half-finished high-rise hotel that's been abandoned ever since the incident. It's not a pretty picture inside. Let me guess. Most of the laborers were augmented with heavy-duty industrial rigs. So when the incident hit and they all went schizo, things got gruesome real fast. And no one, except for some homeless junkies, have been inside the place ever since. So what's the plan, Director? Singh's meeting Shepard on the ground floor, inside the hotel's main atrium. He sent the bulk of his gin crew to the penthouse levels to secure a vantage point. I want McCready's team to take up positions overlooking the atrium and make the arrest. Jensen, you're going in solo from the roof. My objectives? Keep the gin from joining the party. As far as we can tell, only one route connects the atrium to the penthouse level, a halfway decent elevator shaft. Here. I want you to block access to it. Fine. Just cut me loose. Do you plan on relying solely on your augments for this one? I'd recommend taking a little hardware, just to be sure. Ah, uh, let's see. Lethal? I don't know if not lethal. We've got a UC in there. Might be easier to maintain his cover if he's not the only one still breathing when this is done. Yeah, not lethal. Smart thinking. Yeah, but if anything does happen to him. You will be telling his wife. Okay. After you. Can you guys the hear hospital. them talking? Of course. I, I don't think I hear them what talking. What about range? There's lots of wide spaces and high ceilings in there, but a number of tight and constrained rooms too. So it's a crapshoot, really. Huh. Distance weapon or short range? Um, I kind of like I kind of keep my distance in this kind of game. So yeah, distance. Well, I'm not looking to play dice with anyone in there. Give me something with distance. Your call. Less chance of being seen and compromising Singh that way. 
One last thing, Jensen. Singh said that Jin are using some sort of portable Wi-Fi device to boost communication. Okay, yeah. He's got a better chance of maintaining cover if you disable it. Roger. I'll keep an eye out for it. But aren't we on the clock here? You said there's a sandstorm moving in. There is, and we got the intel on this mission at the very last minute. So we're scrambling a little. If it comes to it, your number one priority is keeping the Jin out of that atrium. Copy that. Wait, I'm can you guys hear it? Hold this. up, hold up. Can, can you guys hear it too? Because I don't know if it's just me, but the audio was really weird. Refer, you know, I'm gonna put the speakers. Cause I, I, cause like, do you guys hear that too? Cause really, I, I can barely hear them. I don't know if it's for, I don't know if it's just for me or just for you, but. Ladies and gentlemen, we're approaching the target building. You're up first, Jensen. Let's do this. Yeah, I don't know if it's like Task just my action. game or this if it's you Take guys too, but like, how, can you guys nine. hear them like talking? Cause I, I can barely hear them over the music. You know, let, let me, let me. Oh no, I can't go to option. Now. Fuck. Okay. Next up, wait. When I get on the ground, I'm gonna go back to option and like maybe turn down the music. Cause I can barely hear them talking. It's like oh, blah, 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 blah. Jump down, guys. Ready? I am Jensen. On the case. Yeah! I am augmented. I am coming to kick your asses with my robot hunt and my robot gun and my robot blade and my sphere of electricity. Ah, that never gets old. Ah, what a shit show. Fuck. Here we go. Okay, let, let me just lower down the music a little bit. No, not video. The video's fine. Audio. Uh, okay, yeah, this is all the way up. Let me lower this down. Wait, those sound effects? Yeah. But the music... Let me look. Let me lower that drastically down. Okay, that was... I could barely hear anybody. I really hope that was... Team that Leader, was, this is Jensen. I, I really hope you guys can hear it too. Solid copy. Move into the building. The access uh, route you need to block is at the far end of the penthouses. Okay. And keep in mind, the direct yeah, route uh, might not be the okay. easiest one. Shut it up. McCready will be once you get to the ground. <laughs> this is what I love about this game is this shit. Like, I can literally do this shit for years and not progress one inch in the story. Oh, here, trash can. Yeah! Can I move bodies too? Oh, search. Oh, body manipulation. Okay. Uh, what about you? Anything on you? Shit. Okay. I'm gonna drag you out of here. Yeah. Well, I hope you guys like that like little introduction. I love how they did that. How that little introduction. Like, Credit shit. Thank you for taking that. I like, I like that, how they did that introduction shit. Where it was like, it told you what happened in Human Revolution. And now it's telling you what's happening because of Human Revolution. Can I, can I, do I, can I jump down or... Okay. Uh, uh. Okay, I, I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. What is this? Air shaft. Open. I can go there. So I'm supposed to go here, but you know what? What the fuck? Smart vision, glass shield, typhoon, leg silencers. R3 to crouch. Got it. What's in here? Anything, anything good? Search. Oh, crit. I'll be taking more of those credit chips. Thank you. Um, triangle code? What the fuck is that? <laughs> What the fuck is that? Hey. Wait, wait, what? Wait, okay, wait. That was the typhoon shit. Okay, that was typhoon. Scan. Use this and use the phone app to scan. <gasps> wait a minute, really? I can have. There's a phone app? Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. I'm downloading that shit right after. Right, I'm downloading shit right after the part. But what was that? Let me go back to my abilities. Uh, multi tool. Um. Oh I, I, oh, I remember this. This is a big part of the game is matching your inventory. That's a really cool and big part of the game. But, what? Okay, I, I do not know. Where are my abilities at? Like, I remember seeing it before. No? 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 Oh, okay, whatever. whatever. That's my food. Oh, this is a cloak. I have a sh Okay, you know, this is badass now. I have a shield. Let's go. Oh, I just hold it down. Typhoon. Um, glass shield, smart vision. Okay. Oh fuck! How do, how do I run? No, stop it! Stop it, game! Okay. 
don't know how I run, but I'm gonna figure it out as I go along. Okay. So right now what we gotta do is we gotta go in and we gotta basically take out not take out but like capture this person. Jensen, That's we're what, moving through. Oh fuck. What's wrong? Yeah, hold up. Hold up. I, I still I still don't hear it, so maybe if I put the maybe if I put to my PS4 speakers and lower the music down. You, it's all the way up. Like literally the um, has it split? Yeah, literally the the the, the sounds all the way up. There we go. You should enjoy McCready. We have colors and shapes. Just remember, red is yeah. bad. Fuck you. Okay, I, I I don't know why, but Jensen's voice. I don't know. Leave it in the comment section if you know the voice actor for Adam Jensen. But like his voice is so low, it's not even funny. It's like, oh, blah, blah, blah. I have Adam Jensen. I have a cyborg. I got that. It's, it's even worse than Solid Snake having a Batman moment. That's how bad it is. Okay. What? What? What the fuck? Is it? Oh, I can examine my gun? That's so cool! I can examine my gun! That's so fucking cool! Okay, so I'm going to make this part a little bit longer than usual, just so you guys can get a feel of the game. Because usually I do that for the first part of any walkthrough. I always leave the first part ugh, a lot longer than it usually is. Because I, I want to have you guys get a feel of the game. But energy. Oh yeah, I want well, 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 energy. Hold up, okay. So, certain augmentations have an activation cost that degrades energy mechanism. My current energy bar is... Refill, reset my... Oh! Use of bio stuff required. Okay, I thought, I thought it would be like in Human Revolution. Where it just like, it just like, um, generates... Okay, it's a mantle box. Search. Um, hey, okay, that must, that must be like my health. So grab something on you. You're useless. I'm gonna come back to you and shoot you in the face while I get more bullets. Um, oh, here we go. Ugh, jump. Move. Oh, okay, hold to move forward and grab my ledge. Oh, fuck! I forgot! I'm part cyborg, so I can jump like a mofo! Not enough energy. Okay, you know what? You know, we're gonna stop that right now. Where's my bio cell? Oh, I'm gonna hate this, but. Uh, no, I, I don't think I should use it yet. Oh, see, I'm, oh, see I am bringing energy. Okay. Okay, I thought, because in Human Revolution, when you run out of energy, you just, if you just wait a while and you, like, get back. Throwable, throwable. No. Ooh, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. Open. Anything? Crunch chip. I'll be taking that. Thank you very much, good sir. Uh, throwable f Oh, you know, I, will, I bet there's a trophy that you knock somebody out while throwing something at them. I bet you that's a trophy. I really hope it is. Um, what, what the fuck? What the fuck now? Oh, hold all through inventory and pocket wheel. Okay. Equip it, use smart vision. Okay. Okay. So, smart vision. Oh, shit. Fucking cool. Swoop this? Ha! Uh, wait, no, 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 I want to break the- No, I want to break the shit! I am adjacent! Ha! Knock, knock, motherfucker! Excuse me, excuse me, I need to- No, no, I need to- I need to get in there, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you! Thank you. Smart mission. Oh shit, we got two, we got two hostiles. We got two hostiles, we got whatever that thing is. We got a throwable. Okay. Alright, so we got two hostiles. Be stealthy. Keypad. Uh, restore. Yeah. Okay, so restore power to the keypad. How? <gasps> wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, I have no idea what to do now. Okay, so I gotta restore power. So something tells me my smart bitch is gonna come in real handy. And something tells me I gotta jump over this shit. Okay, so. Good, good. Alright, okay, so they're over there, so they can't see me. Good. Uh, trash can? No? Can I search these? No, no toolbox. I can't touch toolbox. I'll expect like you no. Know, probably something to get a toolbox. Ooh, breaker. Something tells me that I did. I did a good thing. Something tells me I just did a really good thing. Oh, oh never mind. Ah, ow, 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 ow. Okay, okay, okay. I get it. I get it. You're not supposed to go that way. I get it. Oh, Jensen. Jensen, you're a highly. You're you're like you're basically like a six million dollar man. Okay, you're basically a six million. What the fuck? I'm in cover! Jensen, get all cover! We don't need getting cover now! Jensen, get up! Thank you, Jensen! Keypad. Fuck. Uh... I can do it the easy way, or I can do it the fun way. 
Um, okay. I can... Okay, I look like I have to capture this. Capturing... Anomaly detected. Oh shit! Oh shit, that's not good! That is not good! Fuck, 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 fuck. Come on, come on, come on, come on! The fuck? Come on, hurry up and fucking capture it! Okay, okay, okay. Capture, 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 come on. Access granted. Yes! Rest of the breach. Yes! I wish hacking was this easy in real life. Like, imagine watchdogs. Imagine, like, hacking shit would be like, would be like, just like watchdogs or their Where it's like a little. <gasps> fuck. Follow the green hologram to receive tutorial instructions about various game attacks. Okay? Learn about cover. Okay. That's a tutorial mode. So, alright, L3 to take cover. I gotta look. We've come to cover. Huh? <sighs> Alright then. I should. Ro oh, I can roll to cover now. Oh, or I can just do that. <laughs> or I can just do that! Alright, round cover. Okay. Aim to next cover. Okay, but where is it? Ah, there we go. He don't see shit. You don't see shit. Aim up one of that first person. Got it. Alright, I'm here. How, all right. What really? Oh, are you guys teaching me how to like how to like do like a, a takedown or some shit? Oh. <gasps> well, I have a long gun, but you know what? How many? Oh, it's only one. Can you take down? Yes. Night, night. That is night. Alright, do you have anything on you? Do you have a, um, anything on you? Oh, yeah, pistol. Wait, but I'll, I'll have a pistol. I'll have, I'll have any, like, pistol ammo. Shit. I mean, any freaking pistol. I'll, I'll have a pistol. Okay, I'll have a pistol. Okay, there's two there. But, hey, you see shit. I can't reload. Oh, I have to reload after every shot. Okay. Ugh! Wait, what? Is he not? Oh, there we go. The fuck? Is it just me, or is this game, game a little slow? Is it just me, or is it just a slow? Smart fish. Okay, I could go up there, but there's nothing for me up there. No, no, no there's nothing for me up here. There really is. Let me check. Up to Daisy, up to do. Nope. No. Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What is this? No, trash can. Okay. Yeah, I don't need anything up here. I just took out the two guards. I also don't need anything up here. Mark it off. I, I do not know how to sprint. This is bad for me. I'm surprised that, you know, he saw me and he didn't do jack shit. Oh, well, oh no. Oh, you didn't see me. It was other dude who saw me. No, it was, it was you. You saw me. Okay. Machine pistol. <gasps> and I'll be taking this. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Smart mission. Okay. Okay, we're good. We're good. Search. And do you have anything on you? No? So it was just a friend here who had the Oh, and a pistol! Oh! <laughs> Wait, let me equip let, let me uh, do, do I have a hot bar? I can equip shit. Oh, okay, so okay, let me check. Alright, let me let me reload you. Okay, so basically I'm full of pistol and by SMG. No! What the fuck was What the fuck was that? Okay, something tells me, something tells me I don't want to go anywhere near that. Something tells me I don't want to go anywhere near that. I'm already fucking, I'm already fucking up. I'm already fucking up. Let me, let me go back to, let me go back to my trick card rifle. Let me back to this shit. Uh, good, so I have, I have a long range weapon, just in case I want to, you know, be stealthy. I have a short range weapon, I'll be taking this beer. I have a short range weapon, just in case they want to get a little, just in case they want to get close. Okay, good. Keypad. News. Hacking. Because hacking is fun. Four or five. Anomaly. Ah shit! Shit! Capture! 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 Initiated. Mark, 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 mark. Capture! 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 Come on! Come on! Come on! Capture! Come on! Capture! Access yes! That's great. All right. Hack! Oh, I have the best cyborg ever. What up? Oh, I can. What? What? Hard. God, I hate the fucking desert. I'm 
this dungeon. Thank you. Time is not on our side. Copy that. Roger that. Lock. Strike. Ah! Check life or rifle ammo. I'll be ta oh, I'll be taking. I'm taking all this shit. What's this? So I already have a pistol, so I don't need that. I honestly don't need that. Open up. What do you have? A uh, ninth rye. I don't know what that is, but I'm taking it. Bust over this lock. What's in here? Oh, crit chip. Thank you. Combat rifle. Thank you. Doable. No. That, that it? That it? Really? Is that all? Yeah, that's all. Oh, wait, what about you? I, I must miss the crit chip. Fuck. I must miss the crit chip. Movable. No, 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 don't look at the shit. Uh, uh. Alright then. I am at Jensen! Ah! Here's Adam! <laughs> yep, see, he's smart shit on. Okay. Icarus landing on the station triggers on that one falling to prevent damage. Oh, okay, so basically I have no fall damage. Okay, so I basically have no fall damage. <laughs> The f oh st yeah, let's do let's edge of stealth. Can I, I'm trying to I'm gonna try to do this game full stealth. I'm gonna try to do full stealth run on this game. I think my legs are in rotation. Okay, open. Oh shit! That, that wow was soft. That was stealthy. Glass shield clothing activated. Okay, one P one N P C two. Oh, it's a trap. I don't know how to do that. Pick up object. Oh, just throw. I don't know that shit. The matter does. In the with Akid in the full game in Hina. Oh fuck. Uh yeah. <laughs> Cause I think he already found me. I, I legit think he found me when I did that. Okay. Let me turn my leg thing. How many? Okay. Got two. Let's try. I'm gonna snipe this person. I'm gonna melee attack. Excuse me, sir. Draw yes. oh, the face. Give me a crack, chip. All right, I don't, I don't need your handgun. Well, you got on you. The sheep pistol. I'll be taking that. Thank you. Wow, that was that was a lot easier than I thought. Wow. Why well, a lot easier than I thought? If this is the whole game, then I go rock stealth. Fuck. I'm going to rock stealth. This is how the game plays. I'm just oh fuck. Damn it. Okay. So I gotta do something. What the fuck? Okay. Oh, shit. I go there, but then he's looking back direction. Oh, okay. uh, not I'm going to go to the Nice to the event. Good. There is too much riding on this deal. Last thing we need is the guns breaking down. Okay. Should I hit him? McCready, how you making out? Headshot! Say again. What is it? It's straight in his head. The fuck? Anyone else? Oh, just two? Okay, that's easy. I can open that. No but parts. Then up here. But I take mine. You know, you know. I'm gonna open this, see what they have on them, and then jump back up here. Oh, what? Oh, what? No, I can't. Oh, fuck. Okay. So let's scratch that plan. Let's just go back up here and find more people to shoot in the face. All right, then. A combat tutorial. Oh, I already, I already know about combat. I already know. It's literally, it's, 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 a, it's a shooting game. So just point, shoot, and the day. What's this? Consumable? I'll be taking that shit, thank you very much. Okay, I guess we go here. How much we got? We got one. Easy enough. Head night night, bitch! Boom! Headshot! Is that it? Oh, okay, there's one more down there. So let me, let me go down, collect. See what, see what these guys have on them. Oh, crit chip. Thank you very much. And there's another guy? Alright, oh, here he is. 
Yeah, another guy right here. I'll be taking you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Machine Pistol. I'll be taking that. Thank you very much. Okay, so we're gonna go over the. We're gonna go over here. See what this guy have has with him, and I think, I think that's gonna be it for this part. I think that's gonna be it for this part. Cause all, it's already like it's, all, it's already like forty minutes, and I think that's long enough, guys. I think a forty minute part is long enough. I bet guys, I bet you guys right now are like, oh, Danny, let's end this already. It's forty minutes. Don't worry, guys. Don't worry. Oh wait, shit, gas hazards. Do I have the equipment to get through gas hazards, or I don't think so. I don't think so, but okay. You know what? Uh, Working my way through the penthouse. My twenty twenty. Roger that. Oh, do I have that? The implanted rebreather? I want to say. I want to say yeah. Let me check. I want to say yeah. I want to say I have that, but crafting? No. Um. Here, augment. Um. Uh, social enhancer, hacking, hacking, hacking. Uh, stealth, stealth, stealth. Here, here, yeah, I have that. Okay, good, good. So when we come back, we're gonna be jumping down here and taking on. I'm gonna try and take out everyone stealthily. Uh, oh yeah, I do have that. Cool. So I'm gonna, so I'm, oh, wait, it costs energy. No wait, get back up there. Get back up there. Get back up there. Yeah, it costs energy. Get back up there. Wait. Oh fuck. Fuck. No, wait, get back up there. Get back up there. Ah, oh, damn it. I'm gonna die. I am gonna fuck. I did, I did not know it cost energy! Fuck! Fuck! I did not know it cost energy! So that's gonna be it for this part. When we come back, we're gonna be not dying! We're gonna be finding out, we're gonna be going up to arrest that guy, and most likely stealthily taking out everybody without being seen once. I know I'm gonna fuck up in this game at least once. I know I'm gonna fuck up in stealth. I'm gonna try my best to do a full stealth walkthrough.